This will be a demonstration of the benefits seen with VMware SD-WAN's dynamic multi-path optimization, commonly known as VMPO overlay, in delivery of real-time applications such as voice and video. What we're going to compare is two networks. What's visualized on the left is going to be a client device behind a traditional network with a router at the edge. Although this site has multiple WAN links, the traditional router is limited to using only one at any given time. From the client host, we'll access a remote application which can be located in the headquarters or available on public internet. And what is visualized on the right is a similar setup, but this time we have deployed VMware SD-WAN Edge with an overlay network introduced earlier as DMPO that can dynamically remediate against any network anomalies on those WAN circuits and also able to utilize multiple WAN links simultaneously. DMPO is achieved by peering with a cloud-hosted SD-WAN gateway service. However, the remote peer can also be a data center deployed SD-WAN edge. The results will be the same. Throughout the demo, the local circuits to the remote sites will be subject to these network anomalies or impairments that we're going to manually induce. And for visual purposes, we are going to showcase a video application. However, the DMPO benefits can be seen on any enterprise application. For the first test, we'll have no WAN link impairments. In both scenarios, both WAN links are healthy just to set baseline expectations. The traditional router will deliver the traffic over the primary link A, typically an MPLS circuit. And in the case of the VMware SD-WAN, DMPO will also deliver the traffic on link A, but because of a set business policy where the high priority video traffic is preferred to be taken over the MPLS link A. From the perspective of the end user on the client host where it matters the most, the end result performance in both scenarios is as expected. No problems with delivery of the traffic, the overall quality of the video is good. On VMware Orchestrator, we can get analytics on not just the application, but also the network usage. We can centrally monitor real-time usage of any on-premise edge by starting live monitoring on the specific SD-WAN device. And per the business policy, we can see the traffic is being delivered on MPLS WAN link A, and it will continue to be delivered on the preferred link as long as SLAs are met as per the business policy. But once the SLAs are not met on the preferred link based on real-time measurements, then the SD-WAN will dynamically use a different link to make sure the application stays usable to the user. We are now going to simulate exactly that by inducing 2% packet loss on the MPLS link A to break the SLA on both environments to see how that impacts the user performance of each site. On the traditional router network, we expect no change in delivery. Link A is still used regardless of the high loss encountered. In the case of VMware SD-WAN, it will react to this network impairment and to maintain the SLA for the application under test, it will dynamically start steering traffic on the better condition WAN link B. On Orchestrator, we can see this in real time on how SD-WAN immediately reacts to the 2% loss by moving traffic onto WAN link B, meeting the SLA requirement for the application. And the result from an end user perspective, you can see the site with the VMware SD-WAN device is going to perform better. While the traditional router environment is going to struggle because it's unable to move the traffic, VMware SD-WAN reacts to the new WAN conditions without the user even being aware of any changes in how the traffic is being delivered. And in our last test, we're going to remove Internet Link B altogether, forcing both networks to deliver traffic on the MPLS Link A, which still has 2% packet loss. Again, there is no change to the traditional network since the MPLS link is still functional, although suffering from high loss. In case of VMware SD-WAN, DMPO will react immediately by steering the traffic back to the healthier link, but also dynamically start remediation techniques of forward error correction and jitter buffering to address the issue encountered when facing 2% loss on this link. 
Again, the results are similar. The client with the SD-WAN in place continues operation undisturbed with the application behaving as if nothing is wrong with the network. Whereas in the traditional router use case seen on the left, the client continues to see poor performance due to the unavoidable packet loss. And if we look at VMware Orchestrator's live monitoring of that SD-WAN, we can see how the SD-WAN returns the traffic back on the MPLS link A and on-demand remediation is implemented even when there is only one WAN link available. You can see the red icon showing internet link B is currently down. Error correction will kick in in any scenario where there is packet loss being encountered regardless of multiple WAN links or even when the SD-WAN is down to a single WAN link. Remediation dynamically kicks in to protect the user experience of any application. VMware SD-WAN is a per packet processing engine which has several benefits over traditional routers and, and similarly has significant advantages over session-based or flow-based SD-WAN solutions on the market that rely on synthetic probes to determine the health of circuits which at time fail to protect business critical applications when the network is impaired like we demonstrated in these tests. The last thing I'll highlight is how VMware Orchestrator provides visibility to the network to see if applications are healthy, but the system is designed to heal the network in different scenarios and to protect against poor user experience. We can select our video traffic type as the application that was under test to get quality of experience scoring, which outlines the timeline of the test we just implemented with the red denoting when the MPLS link A indicated 2% packet loss. Then towards the end of the test, when we brought down the internet link, that is indicated by the gray coloring. SD-WAN DMPO has the ability to maintain a 9.85 out of 10 quality score for this video application, even in the extreme scenarios where we have a single MPLS link A being impaired with 2% packet loss. But it's important to keep in mind that the most important thing is the end user experience throughout this entire ordeal, with near zero disruption to the end user in the case of VMware SD-WAN. DMPO is a differentiator and only available in the VMware SD-WAN solution. Thank you for watching.